Welcome to Tokyo Tuesday. If you're a regular viewer, welcome back. This week, we've got an exciting one. This week, we're attending one of Tokyo's oldest, biggest, and most exciting festivals called Sanja Matsuri. It's a festival that centers around carrying these mikoshi, which are like portable shrines around the entire area of Asakusa for three days. And while I will admit that that is a cool mikoshi, the entire festival actually revolves around three main mikoshi. Let me show you. These three right in here. In fact, these three shrines are such a big deal that this may be the closest we get to them for the entire festival. People literally fist fight to get their hands on these shrines. One of the things that makes this festival so amazing is the fact that those shrines, over a hundred of them, are carried through almost every single street in Asakusa for three days. Like every street. Like this whole street right here. This whole street. This street right here. This street here. This street. Both of these streets, this street, this street, here. Probably not in here, but definitely over here. Even all through this street. In fact, they lift the lantern. So that the Mikoshi doesn't hit it. Whew, taking a break. It's a massive festival, it's tons of fun, and I have either participated in or attended this festival every single year since 2008, except for one or two years that I wasn't in the country. And I would definitely say that my favorite way to enjoy this festival is to bring out a guest who's never attended the festival and show it to them for the first time. There's something about a fresh set of eyes, and this year, of course, is no different. I've got a great guest for this year who's never been to the festival and who's very excited, but we have one minor problem and that problem is the weather see this well today and Sunday are set to be sunny tomorrow looks like rain and while I've never had the chance to enjoy this particular festival in the rain it still might suck because this festival is incredible you know I haven't even shown you guys what the festivals like yet this festival just has so much energy let me take a few quick seconds and show you what this festival is like from day to night Incredible, right? Just incredible. So while preparations are underway today, I guess I just have to wait in anticipation to find out how this is gonna play out. But honestly, rain or shine, we are gonna make this year's festival mind-blowing, so why don't we just fast forward to tomorrow and see how things play out. And now it's time for the big reveal. <gasps> it's not raining, and and I have our guest with us. Hi. Hannah from Currently Hannah. If you don't know who this is, check out the video that I've linked above her head. <laughs> So excited to have you as our guest this year. Thank you for having me. So, we've been at the festival all morning. We actually did a live stream this morning, a little bit of a Q&A, Hannah's first ever. This is such a cool little show thing guy. This is awesome. It really is. I love it. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is a few background facts about this particular festival, and of course, some food. I'm actually, I'm already getting hungry. Yeah, me too. I wanna to kick things off with probably one of the more important facts about Sanja Matsuri. Sanja Matsuri means three shrine festival. And it's all about those three shrines that I showed you at the beginning. The three shrines are representative of the three men who created the Sensoji Temple here in Asakusa. We are just getting started, but I feel like it's already time for a food break. What do you think? I think it's time for food. Morning. You were watching it? Yeah, yeah, I was watching the live. Oh my god. Hi. Yeah, me too. I'm Norm. <laughs> I'm Joanna. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming up. It's crazy. Like, so glad really. that you came up and said hello. <laughs> that definitely made my day. Thank you guys so much for coming up and saying hello. 
And now we're even more hungry. <laughs> so hungry. I need to eat something. <laughs> Let's really get food now. And then I run into this guy here. Oh, Snokes. What up? Just like hanging out. What up, man? So, G, what are you doing, man? Uh, I'm good to meet you guys, Chris. Always good to see you. <laughs> we're really gonna get food now. See you guys. You must be so hungry now. I'm so hungry. It has been like so well over an hour since we said we were gonna get food. I'm so sorry. You no, know it's what? Fine. I ran Let's just go back. From high school, randomly. From high school? Yeah, I used to dance with her like ages ago. Did you know she was in Japan? No, I didn't even. She just got married, and it's like. Yay! Finally, food time. I'm so excited for food. <laughs> oh no! Now the, there's choices. Let's get both. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay, we finally got food. Woo. Woo, so that was some good food. All right, so for our next cool fact, the three major Mikoshi pass through this entire thing, but it gets incredibly, incredibly aggressive. So much to the fact where many of the shop staff actually stay inside of the shops behind the shutters just Escape these crowds for just a second. Hannah, yeah. another fun fact. Did you know that Asakusa is home to Japan's oldest and first theme park? Wait, Japan's oldest? Really? Wow. You can actually see part of it right here. Oh, this is it? And Hannah, you know the best part? What's that? It's called Hannah Yashiki. Is it? That's it awesome. is. <laughs> <laughs> And there it is. There it Japan's is. Oh my oldest. gosh. It's awesome. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Woo! What are the, <laughs> the health and safety experts say about this place? Um, moving on. <laughs> Are you ready to get back into that craziness over there? Yes, I'm ready. Another really cool fact that you see less and less of throughout the years recently is this particular festival has heavy involvement by the Yakuza. So I'm taking Hannah out right now to an area that is pretty much dominated by Yakuza groups. Stopped and chatted with some of them for a while, and I think <laughs> I think Hannah was taken back by how friendly they were. Yeah, they were so friendly. That was weird. Yeah. Because when you're filming them, I was like, dude, don't film them. They probably won't like it. And they were like, give you a thumbs up. They're giving you a thumbs up, and they were like, yo, if you come tomorrow at 10 a.m. at this spot, not only will we be in full tattoo, but We'll be like standing on top of the Mikoshi and everything for you. Definitely come out tomorrow at 10 a.m. They were like... <laughs> That's so weird. They're full on for it. That's so. so funny. Over the years, the Yakuza involvement in the festival has really, really died down. Like back in 2008, 2009, they were everywhere. You would go to the temple and they'd be standing there, full body tattoos, riding on, but it, it, they just, they don't let them do it anymore. But if you know where to go, you can still see them, so... <laughs> With the festival still going on in the background, but our light dying out very quickly, there's one more behind the scenes clip. All right, actually, the camera glitched, and I think I lost some stuff here. The audio's gone, the video's weird. Anyways, so the fact I wanted to share is that the weekend before the festival, there's actually a special event where they take the three main Mikoshi and they even put them on boats and float them down the river. It's a whole celebration thing. It's really, really cool. All right, back to the video. With today flying by, actually Hannah's got to get going and we're going to see her again real soon. So we're not going to make a big deal out of it. All we're going to do is go like this and continue the video. But with Hannah gone now, the best part of the festival is still yet to come and that is the night portion. That is when all the real fun happens.
So night is here and the night is filled with anticipation and actually there's something really new here that I wanted to show you guys. These bars right here. Earlier in the day I stood in this exact spot with Hannah and I told you guys that these shop owners have to stay inside their shops on Sunday and press up against the shutters so that they don't get crushed. Things are getting changed. They've actually started to put up bars and they're going to be putting up plates to protect the shops because things get really insane here tomorrow. And as I walk through here, I wanted to share one more tip with you guys, which is the big day is Sunday. Right from 7 o'clock in the morning, they do what is called Miyadashi. And Miyadashi is where the three main shrines are brought out and carried right through this area here. So hopefully that explains. Nighttime at Sanja Matsuri is all about the excitement, the energy, and the drinks. This is Drew. He did a really nice video and bought one of my prints. I'll link it up here. Happened to run into him tonight and said, hey, why don't we have a beer? And that is what we are doing.